Here we go. This is the Eric Everyday Podcast for Thursday, April 20th, 2017, episode 249. What have I done with my life? Eric here, how are you all today? I hope you are all doing well and feeling fine. I'm good, considering the fact that I'm wasting my life. (laughs) Uh, I'm joking, of course, but it's weird. Lately, and more often than not, I get that strong sense, that, that, that feeling, that disquieting feeling, that unpleasant feeling, that... I am rapidly hurling towards the grave without having achieved anything of significance. And it's not a uh, fully formed feeling. It's just one of those picking, little niggling, dumb things that you really don't pay attention to because you know better. You know that your life isn't hurtling towards the grave and that you have done things and that it's just the same part of your brain that likes to think of the worst case scenario while you're driving and think, ooh, what if this happened? And here's just another dumb thing for you to think about because reasons. You know that it's just that part of your brain, but still, lately, more often than not, more often than not, that part of my stupid jerk brain has been popping up with that particular brand of, of stupid thought, of you're 36 years old and you've done nothing. Even though I know that that's not true, although I am 36. Yet last night it came up pretty strong. I was watching Steve Gaynor stream uh, Full Throttle, and we were talking about how Tim Schafer shipped that game when he was 28, which means he had shipped Day of the Tentacle when he was younger than that and worked on Monkey Island games in his mid to early 20s. I mean, I was not doing anything that cool during those years and and Steve himself has uh, shipped an amazing game and he's about my age and I'm being this age have not done anything like that I mean I've got my little podcast I don't know however I do often try have to try to keep this in mind that it's that grass is always greener outward looking thing like I can't tell you how many times I've seen or heard other people who may have had awesome, who have been doing awesome things, creative things, that talk about how, like, they look around them and they see friends who are getting married, who friends who are having families, and uh, they are feeling like, oh, crap, I've reached this age and I'm way behind on, like, real-life stuff. And it just reminds me that you know what, it's it's all good. We all take a different path, man. I started doing the family, kids, marriage thing mid-twenties. And for the past little over decade, that's been my jam. Maybe if things had worked out differently, just who knows, you can never tell what would have made it happen. But if things had work out, worked out differently, maybe I would have gone off and done other things and I'd be working in other things and I would not have a family of my own, but I'd be doing i'd have like a work of creative creative stuff that i could say look at all this stuff i did or this uh i don't know but then i might have that feeling of why don't i have the family so no matter what side you're on no matter where you've put your energy and your time into it's like impossible to not look at your the people who you admire around you and go like wow Look at how much they've done in the same time that I've only done this. I'm wasting my life. I am way behind on everything. I gotta, I wish, what am I doing with all this time? Most of my brain knows 
and has, most of my brain has perspective and most of my brain feels nothing but gratitude and happiness about where I am, about having my family, about being a dad and, you know, living this life. 98% of my brain is all about that. But there's that little part that's just like always popping up now and then and going, man, this person did a lot by the time they were younger than you. It's one, <laughs> this person who, this thing you love, this game, this movie, this uh, whatever you love, was made by someone who is way younger than you are now. And you haven't done anything like that. There's still that part there. If there is a overarching theme of this podcast as a whole, I would say that our brains are jerks. Might be it. Anyway. <laughs> Uh, I know it's just your brain being dumb, but occasionally, and more often than not for some reason, my, it's just been popping up in my head like, what have I done with my life? But I know. Anyway, I hope you all have a lovely day. And I will talk to you all tomorrow. Alright, bye-bye.